What's good, YouTube? Welcome back. It's your boy Skylar, and today we got Mr. Beast protect the Lamborghini and keep it. All right, so you know the drill. As always, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let's get it. Sitting on these train tracks is a quarter million dollar Lamborghini, and barreling down on it right now is a massive train. But before the impact, I'm giving this Lamborghini to Blake. Thank you. And on top of sending the train, I'm also gonna have these eight soldiers shoot 10,000 bullets at your Damn. Lamborghini. That's the scariest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. And you have exactly 24 hours to build whatever you want to protect your Lamborghini from the bullets. The timer starts now. Okay, first line of defense, I'm thinking a wall of cinder blocks. After Smart. that, some shipping containers filled with refrigerators. And then basically just a wall of cars to block those bullets. Do you think all of this is enough to stop 10,000 bullets? I think it is, Jimmy. It okay, be. but so far nothing's there. You should get to building. Blake immediately drove to three stores where I gave him my credit card and he literally spent $78,000 on supplies. And since no I don't way. want to bore you with all that, let's just skip to the part when everything was delivered. His first round of supplies are starting to show up. Oh my God, I can't believe I bought all this stuff and this isn't even everything, man. He's got a water truck. Some of his junk cars came in. He's got a Connex crate over here. How did he get this much stuff? This is crazy. Don't worry about the guys with the machine guns. Just pretend they're not there. Yeah. I don't even know what they're doing there, honestly. <laughs> We're five hours in, and this storage container is about to be the first line of defense against 10,000. Bro, Mr. B's video is always, always, always over the top, bro. Like, what? If <laughs> you meet them, you give this guy your credit card, and he spends $78,000 on things to protect the Lamborghini from 10,000 bullets. Bro, like, who comes up with these ideas? Bullets. All right, that's probably good. That's probably good. Do you think that shipping container is going to stop any bullets? Absolutely not. So as of now, he's screwed. Yeah, he's not looking good for him. Oh gosh. It's been about six hours. Are you happy with your progress? I'm very happy. You sure? It wasn't until this thing <laughs> got down, but now that it's down, dude, I feel really good. I asked him if this was- I mean, shipping container is kind of like thin, those full bullets. I don't think it'll be hard for a bullet to like penetrate it at all. Especially 10,000 rounds, yeah. Let's and they said no. And once Blake realized he had to go all out, he worked not only through the night. This way, Mr. Railroad ties. Nice, nice, yes. Really nice, really nice. But even into the next morning, upgrading his defense. Dude, he's stuffing the storage container with a van and a giant tube. And once I saw it put together, I was honestly pretty impressed. Run me through what you built. So I built a whole bunch of concrete in the front, and the tallest part of the wall is right in the center to block the crow's nest machine guns, because those things are big and scary. I got all my storage containers and a bunch of water. And if you come right over here, you will see his Lamborghini tucked away amongst everything. There it is, nice and Bro, that Lamborghini is so, uh, one day, one, bro, hit the like, subscribe, bro. Please help a boy out one day one day cozy do you think all of this will stop the bullets yeah i do it should be i think you have a 50 percent chance of survival what's the best odds i've had yet so and before i have them shoot 10,000 rounds come with me to the lamborghini not only are no you don't lie if the bullet managed to get through all that and hit the car yeah props to them because there's no way i seen a bullet making through all that competing for this lamborghini but for a hundred grand as well what? what? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Huh? This will be enough to cover the insurance. Damn. <laughs> 24 hours is up. Eight scary men, 10,000 bullets. Versus everything that Blake has built. Are you ready? Just get it over with. Freaking out. We're locked and loaded, ready to fire on you, Jimmy. Sir, fire at will. Roger that. Stand by! his fortress. Oh my god, make him stop. Make him stop. Bro, they're actually ripping through the center box now. Oh um. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, that's intense as shit. <laughs> I wish I was one of them shooting, to be honest. I That shit looks so much fun. Man, oh god. Yo, Blake's walls are crumbling. And what we haven't told Blake is these guns are only the first of four phases we've designed to destroy this Lamborghini. Or should I say, whatever remains. GG's. GG's. There's no way this Lamborghini is making it, bro. After this. They just brought out the LMG. Watching, like, a Call of Duty campaign mission. Oh, 
And if you don't already know who Blake is, he's actually a contestant from two previous videos. But today he's back for a third and final. Not gonna lie though, I wish Mr. Beast will pick more of like random people though. Cause it just like, I get it. Using the same, I don't like, I just wish it does find people in need of things and help them out. You feel me? Not saying like he don't do it cause obviously it's Mr. Beast. He been, that's how he blew up been helping people but i just seen like the same competitors over and over can be a little like you know because we already know them so if we have like new characters new personality new stories like background stories like hey like our house been burned down and let they pay like play or compete for something you know so it's it's like more interesting that way it's i've seen the same face of the same guy over and over yeah Final attempt to win the grand prize. Are you ready for phase two? Yes. See that giant crane coming? That big yellow oil rig looking thing? That is phase two. That crane is going to lift. How do you get all these equipment in the middle of nowhere? Is this North Carolina? Like where, like where do you find all these equipment? <laughs> like wait, what? your car up 100 feet and then in 24 hours drop it and you have to catch it without it being destroyed. Seriously? Yeah. All right, bring it over here. And while we prepare the world's first 100-foot Lamborghini freefall, there goes your Lamborghini, Blake. Blake began to strategize on how he was going to catch it. I have no idea what I'm going to no do. Chandler, come over here. Yes, I'm here. How would you break its fault? So you get all the pillows in the city. Yeah. Step two, <laughs> get all the mattresses. Next, get a blanket. Chandler, you're just making a giant bed. Then a warm glass of milk. <laughs> all right, stop. You're not helping. Blake, work your magic. <laughs> I'm screwed. All right, guys. Oh I got some good news and bad news. We passed day one with flying colors. The bad news is uh, the Lamborghini is airborne, okay? So, anyone got any ideas? I mean, uh, you got, you know I mean, like, what do we think? The bouncy castles? Bouncy castles, that, that's actually not that bad, just because that's not bad at all, really. And after being <laughs> inspired by the construction worker's wisdom, Blake had decided on his master plan. I would like to move the connexes in like a square right here with the X in the middle, and that way I can just fill the square up with a bunch of air mattresses, pillows, bubble wrap, and I'll top it all off with a bunch of bouncy castles. Just, you know, the biggest problem right now is I have no materials. Everything that I bought is hard concrete or metal, and nothing that oh, I bought yeah, I can use for day two, so I have absolutely nothing. And so Blake sent his crew to buy every pillow and air mattress in the city. And even though he was incredibly sleep deprived, he got to work. I'm already at the stage where it's like, bro, how much money do you have, bro? You just randomly go out and just go to like random stores and just buy every single pillow they have. And air matches it. No, one air matches this could be easily a hundred dollars, bro. <laughs> Just for one. Bro. Wait, why am I doing this again? Oh yeah, that's that right. Is... I'm in a challenge. What do they do with all this though? Do they like donate it or like what? That's a lot. Floating in the sky right now. By the time his materials had arrived, Blake had been awake for over 24 hours and was in desperate need of sleep. I'm gonna try to get some sleep because I'm exhausted and it's four in the morning. And with how exhausted Blake was, he ended up sleeping for way longer than he planned. Oh my God. Blake! Um, is he serious? What is this? He got mattresses, pillows, and blankets, but he's missing the warm milk. Yeah, that's the key <laughs> to everything. Where is Blake? He's asleep, I heard. No, he's not. Yeah. By the time Blake got on site, it was already super late in the day. That's Blake's truck pulling up. All right, we need to get to work, come on. All right, let's just see what this looks like. Ooh, that crap. bouncy house works as a big box. So I'm thinking maybe we put that thing in the middle now and then we start blowing it up. Only four and a half hours remain and it's not looking good for Blake. I don't think he has more than a 10% chance of catching that Lamborghini. And even if he does, there's no shot he's stopping that train later on. Start filling up the side so that way it's high over here. No way, he got a train. Wall. So with only a couple of hours remaining, Blake did all that he could by filling the rest of his pit with cardboard boxes and bubble wrap. It's coming down to the wire. Taylor, how much time is left? I know these these workers probably thinking like these fucking rich ass motherfuckers, bro. They got me doing this shit. <laughs> One oh. hour. 
Blake is screwed. I have a little bit of bubble wrap left. I think I'm just gonna get raised on this thing and just wrap my baby up in this bubble wrap and I'm good to go. That's definitely gonna help. Blake spent what little time he had remaining on this crane, failing <laughs> at trying to bubble wrap his car. It's just not gonna work. You know what time it is? What? Time to drop the car. Let's drop this bad boy. The failed bubble wrap makes it look majestic. Like, do you think your That's Lamborghini it. will survive? I'm positive, Jimmy. He's more certain than me. I don't I'm think positive so. about this one. I bought every air mattress at Walmart. If this won't catch it, I don't know what will. I did everything I can. Here's a few swills bar, Blake. Oh, thank you, Mr. You know, Jimmy. That way, even if you lose the car, at least you have some good chocolate. It's available in Walmart. Be sure to go try our new chocolate bar. I'm so curious. I don't think that's... Yeah, I prefer the car. But, you did. <laughs> but anyways, you have three bouncy castles, 150 mattresses. How many pillows? 150. 150 pillows yeah. and 2,000 cardboard boxes. Will it break the Lamborghini's fall? Yes. Yes. That's two yeses. Okay. 24 hours of work down to this. No pun intended. Three, two, one. Drop the Lamborghini. Dude. Please be okay, please be okay, please be okay, please be okay. All right, he's moving the conduct straight out the way. There's no way you got that Lambo. Get these boxes out of the way. Oh. What? We're about to find out how damaged this car is. The lights work. Ooh. The lights work? Yeah, this Princess Castle might have saved this entire car. <laughs> Moment of truth. You might have been the first person in history to catch a Lamborghini. If it turns on. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. It's an actual working Lamborghini and it dropped. Okay. I thought it was just one of those like salvage, like, you know, doesn't turn on type, you know, like the one that he did on the destroying Lamborghini. But no, this one's an actually like actual working one. One day, bro. One day. <laughs> yes! That's what I'm talking about! Everything looks good, minus a little crack in the bumper. Which we found out by this official appraiser, this was only going to reduce the price of Blake's Lamborghini by- Probably 10 grand. Thank you so much, thanks for the good news. And now is the perfect time to mention that phase three is flaming cars. For Blake's next challenge, we're bringing back his biggest oh, nightmare. No. We have recreated the flaming cars challenge that cost Blake everything last time. Wow. That's a low blow. To but seeing how he's done this before, no we're going to up the stakes by dropping twice as many cars as last time. I'll see you tomorrow. I got a lot to prove. Redemption day. Blake spent the rest of the night disassembling his defense for phase two. And after a good night of sleep, he was ready to begin his defense for phase three. Straight in the morning, just woke up. We got a lot of work to do today, so let's get started. Here's the day three plan. I'm gonna cut the bottom out of a shipping container and I'm gonna drop it right on the car. Next, I'm gonna take two more containers and I'm gonna lean them up, coming to a point right above the car. And most importantly, nothing flammable this time. Do you think that will deflect the car? Yes, sir. Oh, I thought you were going to say no. <laughs> Blake then asked his crew to remove every piece of wood that was in the container because that's what ended his challenge last time. He Smart. then had them cut out the bottom of the container that would surround the Lamborghini. The storage container could put a lot of damage. Completely crush it? Yeah. You can? I mean, yeah, that thing weighs a whole lot. And with that being done, Blake just needs to lower the container carefully over the Lamborghini without damaging. One scratch could cost him thousands of dollars. You're good, just like that. It is so close to scraping the car. Watch your fingers, we're coming down. Yes! I yes! cannot believe that. All right, next we're gonna bring these containers together to form a V. What if the car gets caught in there? Yeah, that's, that can't happen, dude. That's why we're putting this pointy thing at the top. Do you think that will actually deflect their car? 100%. 20 minutes remain, and then we see if that Lamborghini perishes, just like his 500 grand. And as usual, Blake utilized every last second. Three, two, one. Not quite sure what that dirt accomplished. <laughs> time is up. No. Let's see if, unlike last time, you survive phase three. Redemption. Blake. You lost $500,000 from this exact challenge. How are you Damn. feeling? I feel pretty confident. I think the viewers want to know thousand? one thing. Did you put wood inside of there like last time? A little bit. No, I'm just kidding. There's no wood in there. It was one of the biggest mistakes I've ever made in my life. Yeah, Moment I don't know what he was truth. thinking on that one. Ooh. 
three shipping containers, a bunch of dirt, concrete, a weird like pointed roof thing versus 10 flaming cars. Are you ready? Let's go, dude. Light it on fire! Will Blake be one step closer to going home with a brand new Lamborghini filled with $100,000 or be eliminated and go home with nothing? We're about to find out. Three, two, one. Drop it! Oh! Damn. Oh, oh. Oh, you did not I want feel like that's too. exactly what he didn't want to happen. Oh, no. The first one, too. feeling good? Not as good. Yeah, this is giving me some flashbacks. It's giving you some flashbacks. All right, ready for the next one? Let's do it, let's do it. Drop it. Oh, my God, the roof looks like it's already buckling. Oh, it's And just in, in case already. Blake loses to the flaming cars like last time, I'm going to take this moment and tell you about this amazing new phone. What you're currently watching on is the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. This phone can record slow-mo and 4K. The camera on this is crazy. We're like 200 feet away and it's nighttime and look at how crystal clear it is. Oh. I go crazy. ahead and drop it. Oh! Oh! oh that I'm gonna be honest though, I don't care how good the quality is for the Samsung, I'm gonna never buy one. I'm sorry. I'm Apple all the way. I say it's so convenient. I just like their system and everything just connected and I like that. <laughs> that hurt to watch. It also has a ton of new features with Galaxy AI, like photo assist. Remember the last challenge when the bumper got cracked on the Lambo? You can just circle it like this, and then all you do is you hit that eraser button, and just like that, the bumper is fixed. Now I have a new car. For the picture you do. Whatever you're ready. This yeah. phone also has circle to search with Google, which makes finding information incredibly easy. It would have helped Blake a lot in the last video to learn about the flammability of wood and railroad ties. <laughs> All he needed to do was long press the home button, circle the railroad ties, and ask, is this flammable? As you can see, railroad ties are flammable. He would have learned the answers That's instantly. Cool enough. Could have just told you. I was genuinely impressed by this phone, and I think you will be too. So, go to samsung.com, click the link in the description, or scan this QR code to check it out right now. And let's drop the next car. We dropped car after car. And with each one, we could tell Blake was getting nervous. But we also noticed it's that all of the in. impacts were starting to damage the crate itself. Ooh. Your crate on the bottom is bowing. At this point, he, he should have had like support system here. Cause all the weight does crash in and yeah, he should have like something to like help support. Damn, that's... Wait, the container protecting the Lamborghini was being crushed by the weight and heat of the cars. I thought about this every day since the last time I saw this. And now it's time for the final car. Yes, fall, uh, fall, oh, oh no. Bro, it's gotta be a thousand degrees in there. His car has to be melting now. We got the fire yeah. extinguisher. Somehow he's running so fast. Be careful, Blake! I'm coming! How is it? It's okay! It's okay! Yes! You like that! If one more car was dropped... Damn, that's crazy how it came. <laughs> this crate would have collapsed. You stopped 10,000 bullets. Easy. You caught a car out of midair. You've now deflected 10 flaming cars. And now it's time for phase four. Bring on the, the train. The phase. timer has officially started. Oh, I gotta go. Good luck on phase four. Godspeed. What is he even running at? Blake knew that the train was going to be the most deadly attack yet. So he wasted no time in getting started. I think the best way to stop a train is to derail it. That's what I've tried to build here. All these railroad ties are tucked snug and all of these are gonna go under the train. The train's gonna hit them like that. And if I do that a hundred more times, I don't see the train just blowing past all that. The railroad ties lost me the challenge last video. This time they'll save me. You just need two inches off the track and I went Two inches is a lot It though. might work. My man. And then once I have all this done, I can just put concrete on top. I think that's gonna work, man. I think that's gonna work. Blake worked with his crew throughout the entire night. And when I showed up the next morning, it was obvious that the challenge had taken a toll on him. What's up, Jimbo? What happened to your voice? I'm like dying out here. As you guys know, he <laughs> lost $250,000 in this video. He lost half a million dollars in this video. I think Blake is sick and tired of losing. He has an army going super hard. They're currently stacking the cars that we dropped on phase three 
on the train tracks. But time was still ticking down, and in order to stop this train and take his Lambo home, Blake began adding a lot more objects to the That's tracks. A lot. Like shipping containers, mattresses to cushion the impact. Blake's worked so hard. I'm now on his team. And water tanks. Blake really seems to know what he's doing. Too bad there's only 11 minutes left. At this point, Blake did everything he could to finish his build before time ran out. And it was actually starting to look impressive. This is it. Three. The final stretch. Two. The beast has a train. One. The last line of defense. Like, Time's up. Stop. Turn it off. Turn it off. Time is officially up. Oh, my God. From phase one's shipping containers, phase two's mattresses, and even phase three's burning cars, you somehow use all the resources from the previous phases. Let's see if you're driving home in a Lamborghini or if I'm dropping you off at your house. Bring that train on, man. Bring it on. Before we ram everything, we need to back the train up. We're going to go really far back. That way the train can pick up a lot of speed before it hits everything. Sound like Damn. a good idea? No, Jimmy. That sounds awful. Be honest. Do you think your Lamborghini will survive? God, I hope so, Jimmy. And of course, <laughs> we had to put the Feastables logo on the train. The new formula is the best chocolate on Earth. Do yourself a favor and go give it a try. But for now, it's time for the biggest moment of Blake's uh, life. Let's see if he wins a Lamborghini. Blake, any last word? Like the old piece of wood was pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. I tried it like a couple times and it's pretty good. Give it all you got. Send the train. Here it comes. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It's coming! It's gonna speed up until it hits 35 God, miles see? an hour right before impact. Dude, it is going quick. It's just gonna derail, it's just gonna derail. Here she comes! Let's see if it was all worth it. right now it's the best tasty chocolate on the planet third time's the charm see you guys later yes w video Mr. Beast. w video I'll, at least he learned from his mistakes and whatnot as usual please leave a like comment subscribe see you for the next one